How we doing? We got sunshine today, so guess what? Aha! We're going around a block. I hope you got a sweater on because you're going to need it. It's a little bit cool, but it's sunny. That's all we need. We're going to go around the block. Let's go look for some fish. Haven't been up to the dam in a couple days. It's time we go look. Got to check. Any excuse at all to go for a ride is a good excuse, I reckon. I don't need much of an excuse, but that's as good as I can think of today. You guys got your jackets on you're gonna need it here we go I got sunshine today that's all we need go for a little ride around the block it was a crappy weekend I tell you what it was cold and rainy wind blowing a hundred miles an hour just not fun all our pretty leaves are coming down and bucket fools I hope they don't come down before we get a chance to see a few more of them we haven't seen very many yet if the wind keeps blowing like it has and raining they'll just come down and we'll have to then we'll have to rake you guys can get videos of me raking the yard but last year when I was raking the yard I actually used the snowmobile to move the leaves with those things move leaves pretty well but I didn't have the GoPro then to video it for you. This year we do. We will be ready. The wind is blowing like a hundred miles an hour today. It's really windy. Okay, not a hundred. I'm exaggerating a little bit. Maybe it's blowing like 20. It's enough to make you go all over the road. But I'm just, uh, was thinking today back in March when we first got the bike out. Back in March and the snow melted and 40 degrees just made you sweat. It felt so nice and warm. Today is kind of like last March. It just made me think like the COVID started back in March. We had so many plans we were going to go to the spring run in April and then there's the blessing of the bikes all the all the things that we like to do every year got canceled because of the COVID stuff like we missed out on so much I know we all did across the country and even around the world things that we know is that we like to do in the summertime and all the events, especially for me, the bike nights and uh, the rubble road and the 
Muskegon bike time down there, thousands of motorcycles, just local things that we didn't get to do this year. It kind of sucks. But we still got to ride, we still got to do videos. And we just rode around the block a lot. We got to go on our vacation back in August. We, got to, we rode the bikes down to Pigeon Forge and the Blue Ridge Skyway. And the tail of the dragon, of course. We had to do all of that, but the the local things that are close to home that we like to do. That right there, my friends, is a hemp plantation. You should smell that stuff, boy. It is strong smelling. You know when you get close, you can smell it. Anywho, where was I? All the things, yeah, the things that we like to do in the summertime, we just didn't get to do them. COVID got to put the screws on everything. I know they had bike nights canceled at the Harley dealerships several times this year. Pretty much every, every other week and they get rescheduled, or rescheduled, canceled. And we ended up only having two one of which the first one we took the camera and there wasn't hardly any people went but the second one i didn't take the camera because i was lazy mm -hmm. it just makes me think how fortunate we are that we did at least get to go out and and do some riding if i remember like back in april they were even talking about they didn't even want you out riding a motorcycle around anywhere. Like, how crazy is that? But we went riding anyways. We just did local trips around the block. You guys have been thinking of all the things that you've been, that you missed out on in the summer, your vacations, people wanting to get married, you couldn't have a crowd over 10. You know, it's really changed the way that we live this year. And that now that summer's coming to an end, winter's coming on, it would be nice if everything would get back to normal, this COVID stuff would go away. Well, folks, boys and girls, here we are at the Hespotucky Dam on White River once again. Checking for the salmon. I've been here 10 minutes and I just saw one, count them, one jump up there. So they're not here yet. Evidently the COVID-19 has quarantined the salmon. I think the governor of Michigan told the salmon to stay out in the lake. And the salmon must be listening to the governor still. I don't know. Just my guess. So, I think we're just going to go around the block like we always do. Isn't she pretty? Oh, God. It's just a shame to see it just sit there. Let's get on it. Go for a ride. Like I got my boot cut. I got... These are... Genuine Harley Davidson pants. They're supposed to go over your boots. But every time I stand up, it feels like I have high waters on. I don't know what the deal is. It really bugs me. For a, oh, there's a turtle. A baby turtle in the road. You guys probably didn't see that. Things to think about when you're riding a motorcycle. Is a COVID. There's something wrong with that, I guess. Let's go this way. I ain't asking nobody for nothing. If I can't get it on my own. If you don't like the way I'm living, you just need a strong hand country boy.
I'm going to talk about a couple of things on this motorcycle that I don't like. There, Yes, there is a couple of things I don't like about it. I'd like to show you a couple of them. The biggest thing is like as much money as you pay for one of these. This would be like our oh, six months review, I guess. I had this six months. It's a 2020 Street Glide Standard. We have 6,088 miles on it. See, right there. Since we got it, we rode it down to Blue Ridge, of course, and Tennessee. But the biggest pet peeve I got is this thing right here. As much money as you pay for this motorcycle, this little thing flops in the breeze. That is a port. You can put a, a USB charger in there and plug a USB cable in. Well, this little cap doesn't stay in. What's up with that, Harley Davidson? Dang, you can't make a little rubber plug stick in there? I had to put something, some duct tape around there a little bit, make it fit a little tighter, I guess. But that just bugs me. And let's see, number two is right down here, the brake lever. This thing is a brake lever. Evidently, on Harleys, if you have big feet, the brake lever is not good, because I like to ride with my feet under there like that, or they end up under there, and it gets stuck. My doggone foot gets stuck underneath that thing, and I gotta <laughs> yank it out. Sometimes when I come to a stop sign, and I don't realize my foot is under that pedal right there like my foot stuck and I had to put my foot down at the stop sign and I have to get my foot unstuck from under there that's a pet peeve I got about this motorcycle as well but everything else I like the radio is very cheap I saved money on that it's a push button style right there very cheap radio I'm kind of wishing I would have got it gotten the upgraded version but hey I saved a couple of bucks it's good on gas it rides smooth smooth as butter smooth as a baby's butt I know right here is the clutch lever if you can see that yeah look in the rear view Hey, I see ya. Hey, y'all. That's what you look like in the rear view with helmet hair. But the clutch lever right here when we first got it, it was stiff. It was so stiff you couldn't pull it in. It would give you a carpal tunnel pulling it. It is a hydraulic clutch. But since we've been riding it, it's very manageable now. I guess it needed to be broken a little bit, but I was concerned about it when we first got that. It was very stiff. One other, one other little minor thing is on the brakes. A couple weeks ago, the handbrake lever right here, you could pull it all the way to the handlebar. I don't know what happened, but. I just pumped it like you do car brakes a few times and it stiffened back up and I haven't had any issue with it. Since then, there's no uh, fluid leaking anywhere or any of that stuff. But I think overall, it's a freaking pretty good bike. It fits me well. The rear shocks are adjustable. It's very smooth. Lots of power. I love riding it. You guys got to ride it with me a lot. So I just wanted to bring out some of the some of the little things that are really minor. But if you pay that much money for a motorcycle, you would think that little rubber plug would fit in that sucker, right? You know, the radio reception too, now that I see the antenna flopping in the breeze right there. Reception isn't real good most of the time either. I don't know why, but I'd rather hear the sound of my motor 
most of the time than hearing the radio. So that's just me. For you all that like to hear the radio when you're cruising around, the radio reception isn't real good most of the time. It's probably because we're out in Never Never Land cruising around. Oh, uh, let me see what else. What else about this motorcycle? Overall, it's pretty good. It's a good ride overall. I'm happy with it. Um, one minor thing, I did, I don't have the backrest on there right now, but it goes right here. These are the mounting brackets for the backrest. When I put the backrest on there, um, it doesn't fit real well. It is a Harley backrest and there's latches that latch onto the back rubber part there. We're having camera difficulties too, dang it. There's latches that latch onto this thing right here in the back and they're spring loaded. Well, they don't, they don't latch on very good. You would think you just push it on and they should click. But these here you have to, I have to force them on there. That's, that's another inconvenient thing because you pay high dollar stuff for genuine Harley parts and they should work like they're supposed to but they haven't on this one but I guess sometimes you gotta put up with the little things to ride a Harley <laughs> that's, yeah I can't believe I said that but that's what I do anyways overall I love riding it appreciate you guys riding with me and it, it's a heck of a lot of fun it's a heck of a big bike and it just feels good to be riding around on it I can tell you that I appreciate y'all coming with me today again it's pretty cold I should have got gloves that cover my fingers but like I said before I like to feel my fingers flopping in the breeze so I'm gonna say bye for now. We're gonna go in and get warmed up, wipe my nose, and probably get a pre-sleep nap. We'll see you all in the next video, for sure. I should have an idea what the heck I'm gonna talk about before I go on a ride, but I never do. I just go out, I get on the motorcycle, and something comes in my brain, and we start talking. If y'all could see me, I'm talking to myself all the time. You'd think I was nuts and you'd be calling 911 for help and get me a straight jacket and like spanking my mama and all that stuff for having a lunatic loose on a big motorcycle. Yeah. So we'll catch you in the next video. Until then, put the hammer down. Keep her greasy. Woohoo!